Well, g'day there, everyone, and thanks for joining us. You're with Huey for the continuing saga of the Mercenary Company, Titans Maulers, and our Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod campaign let's play. And uh, this episode, well, we just finished um, the grave robbing story mission in the two-parter. And so we're going to continue on. And uh, we've just acquired the SLDF uh, Highlander, the... Uh, 733B, I think it is. No, 732B? Oh, God. I remember the uh, model escapes me for some reason. But anyway, we, uh, <clears throat> we've got some interesting changes made thanks to the mod. Um, we don't get a stack of double heat sinks like we normally do, like in the vanilla campaign. Um, which is both good and bad. Um... Because normally what I would do in the vanilla campaign is I would change things up a bit, uh, take some double heat sinks out, take some weapons out, but this is completely changed up. Uh, so, and the one other thing we're going to have to do is look at the mech quirks because uh, that's one thing I forgot to look at, and I am very much looking forward to testing this thing out. So, hopefully, we can have ourselves a bit of fun with this. Really looking forward to uh, using that Gauss rifle, i got to say. And it's a different variant. It's an SLDF Gauss rifle. So, um, what's interesting is it's uh, the Mac is a ferrofibrous. So it has a ferrofibrous quirk. So, everything in it uh, weighs a lot less. But, at, uh, at the expense of reduced capacity. So... Yeah, but the interesting thing is the, uh, yeah, it, it seems to keep relatively cool without the need for all those double heat sinks that we normally get in the campaign. So, yeah, I'd be very interested to see how that all plays out. Um, and uh, what sort of qu additional quirks, if any, that we have with that max. So let's have a quick look at that. Um, so we go to the bays here, and there it is, yep, 732B, so mech quirks. So ferrofibrous armor, yep, double heat sink engine, so it's all inbuilt. Nice. Uh, locations protected by case, highly highlighted in green in the mech lab, protect the pilot from injury if ammo explosion occurs in the location. Uh, plus one initiative for whole lance until fired upon. That is awesome. So it's command battle te uh, battle mech, battle tech. Yeah. Anyway, uh, reduce damage to head from sides by three. Um, no additional damage to the front. So that's nice. Reinforced legs, fifty percent uh, less self DFA damage. Difficult ejection. So uh, ejector pilot takes an injury, won't kill. That's fine. Yeah, it's a slight. Uh, you know, slight downside, and I'm fine with that. So, our head efficiency, we managed to improve slightly by taking off one of the medium lasers and giving it a small laser instead, <clears throat> which I am fine with. And we also replaced the um, Artemis 4 uh, LRM-20 for uh, LRM-20 uh, double plus, which has a plus one damage and minus four heat, which has helped our... On top of the uh, replacing the medium laser for a small laser, it's really helped our, uh, our heat efficiency. Keep in mind, the heat efficiency, uh, you know, it's not that bad. It's only 21. The only reason it's only a 4 is because of the jump jets. I'm really, really looking forward to having a Mac with jump jets once again. So, let's go ahead and look at the contracts. Uh, so which one shall we get? Oh wait, before we do that, we actually have to talk to everyone, don't we? Yes, uh, so let's start with uh, Alexander, of course. What do you need? It's a good thing that you've come to see me, Commander Stewart. What happened on our true will change everything. You need to be prepared. Do I now? Alright. Um, well, I, I'd like to discuss the state of the war, I've had a war against the Directorate. The Torian could call it out. It's fighting on the Directorate's behalf. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's our job to figure out how we're going to keep moving forward now, now that it has. 
I have sent a coded message to Lord Hurrises, informing him of recent events and of our suspicions regarding his son. I recommended that he have Otto confined to the palace and placed on the guard for his own protection. Mind. Okay. None of this is his fault. As far as the restoration is concerned, obviously we're in trouble, but I'm fairly confident that Lady Centrella will help find us a solution. That sounds like wishful thinking, I know, but how Centrella has a vested interest in our success. The last thing they want is a Torian proxy expanding toward Canopian space, and that's what the Directorate appears to have become. For our part, we move forward, no matter what. Not out of pride, but because we have to. This war isn't some meaningless inner sphere pissing contest. It's a struggle for the spirit of the Oregon people. Surrender isn't an option, and neither is flight. We will find a way to prevail, because we have to. There is no other option. Uh, Alright, uh, thanks for that, I guess. Be well, Alright. So, let's see what Darius has to say about this. What do you need? <clears throat> Connor, always good to see you. Especially in times as dark, dark as these. Something I can do for you? Excuse me. Uh... How did our mech warriors handle the Lakira crisis? They did well, given the circumstances. Took Maraud put everyone on repair duty, each according to their abilities. Mech warriors who know their way around a computer did spot checks on the terminals throughout the chip, calling out hardware and software failures as they found them. Others went room to room with electrical kits and fire extinguishers, doing what they could to contain the physical damage. What? What kind of physical damage are we, are we talking about? Ah. Blown out monitors, electrical fires, that kind of thing. We had lamps exploding all over the uh, all over the hab ring, so we had to get a cleanup crew on that. The biggest issue we had to deal with is the misfiring airlock. That was a nightmare, but we got it patched in the end. Who the crew's discipline to hold up over the course of the crisis? Surprisingly well. No people were out of their depth, but they were determined. They fought to right this ship like their lives depended on it. As much of a pain in the ass as they can be from time to time, our mech warriors love this ship. They take pride in their company, and it shows. We got a little misty watching it, truth be told. Alright, thanks for the update. Make sure to commend our mech warriors for their hard work. Well, we'll Connor, and I'll let them know that the praise came directly from you. It'll mean a lot to them, believe me. But I... You know where to find me. Okay, so... Have we... Uh, well, we do have to check our Macquarie's because... Uh, did we actually spend any XP? No, we did not. So it's time to get some gunnery, definitely. Training confirmed, Commander. And... What can I do for yeah, you? Yeah, Lord Decky hasn't improved Commander? at all. Time to get cold shot mastery for glitch. Training complete. Definitely. And Orders. we have Decca who can also get some gunnery. Mech warrior training. Yeah, we want to make these guys crack shots. So, all right. Uh, Yang, Yang is next. Need something? Hey, boss. What happened down on our true? Well, that was a hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. You got on that through surf surface. Wanna talk about it? Yes, if you want. Wasn't exactly my favorite day on the job. To be perfectly honest, boss, I haven't stopped shaking since I got back. Don't know whether it's nerves or shock or what. But what went down in our true spoke spooked the hell out of me. Don't tell the others. And ruin the man of action persona I've been cultivating. And besides, I don't want them to worry. Alright, well, you take care of yourself, okay? Talk to you later. Alright, so. Let's talk to Farah. Yes, we have to talk with the uh, head of engineering. I think that's rather What's important. Come on, the steward. What's up? Give me a damage report. What's up, condition? 
I can't tell you much. We're pretty beat up, but I don't know how badly yet. I can say with some certainty that nothing critical has been damaged. We aren't going. Uh, we aren't going to explode tomorrow, so don't worry about that. But there's a lot of more amb ambiguity on this ship that I'm comfortable with. Anyway, we should be safe for now. As I said, the Dracula is sealed away in a powered-down computer and air-gapped from the rest of the ship, and that's how it's going to stay. If our experience on that route taught me anything, it's that some things are better left alone. Alright, thanks for that. Don't be a stranger, Commander. Okay, so Mary, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna be. I told you so. <laughs> how can I help, Commander? The Argo's host. A bunch of Lord Garozas' people are dead, and apparently, and we're apparently at war with the Torian Concordia. I wish I could say that it surprised me that this drop went to shit, but nope, not surprised at all. Ah, <sighs> you know, ships, and you grew up in the Concordia. I need to know what we're up against. A world of hurt, Commander. A world of hurt. Commander Ostergaard's command ship, the Iberia, is a fortress-class dropship. They don't call him that for nothing. Do you have any idea how many weapons one of those things comes with, equipped with? First, there's the Long Tom Three artillery cannon. You've already seen what that can do. If somehow you survive that, you've got six PPCs, four LRM-20s, four LRM-10s, and eight large lasers to deal with. If, through some miraculous twist of fate, you manage to live through all of that, then the fortress still has five AC-5s, six SRM-6s, sixteen medium lasers, and a pair of AC-20s to murder you with, not to mention the partridge in the pear tree. <laughs> that was my little addition. <laughs> Long story short, Commander, nothing gets close to a, a fortress and lives. It can run its guns all day long without overheating or running out of ammo. And it can bl obliterate any mech you throw at it without breaking a sweat. Oh, and it also carries a full uh, combined arms battalion of in infantry, vehicles, and mechs. I guess what I'm saying is, if the Iberia wants you dead, you're dead. Your only real option is to be where it isn't. End of story. But hey, uh, thanks for the uh, uplift and news. Good day, Commander. Oh, right. Okay, so now we can uh, hop into some contracts. Now that we've uh, gone over our situation. Okay, so we have Favor to Regret, Contagion, Raiding Party. So, I thought we had an assassination mission, but I guess we don't. So we got the Prisoner Escort now. No. Uh, Alright, let's try a three and a half skull. To, oh, you know what? No, let's do a three skull first. We'll work our way up. So, this is a destroy base contagion. Uh. Alright, so I think this is one where you go and blind and you have to sort of uncover the map as you go. Alright then, <clears throat> let's negotiate and I think we're good with that. Pissing the pirates off again, let you know how it happens. Um, so, let's keep Decker in the Crusader. Um, I might put Lord Daki in the Warhammer. Yes. This glitch is already used to the Archer, although... No, let's put... Let's get glitch used to the... Uh, Warhammer, and then I'll hop in the Highlander. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, 
Yeah, so I wonder how we'll go. Fortunately, we are sporting a couple of 70 ton max. Um, Crusaders are a little on the weak side. Overheats a little bit too, but I think we'll be able to manage. Our only real shortcoming with that Crusader is it's... Uh, it often does run out of LRM uh, ammo. So you may have to do something about that. I'm not sure why exactly, but anyway. So Darius says about this mission, I don't like the Sertilis, Commander. No satellite coverage means no topographical intel. You're going into an unknown situation without a map. Alright, we'll just have to map it on the way then. So what we'll do is, uh, I guess we'll keep going on the system for as long as we can. Until, and if, and when, or when and if, depending, when and or if, uh, we need to do repairs or someone gets injured or something. So, hopefully no one dies. <laughs> Command interface initiated. Boss, there's a garbage signal blasting out of that base's transmitters. Want me to put it through? No, do not let it through, Commander. I suspect the sig signal comes from some kind of virus that caused the facility to go offline. And I know a thing or two about viruses. <laughs> they could also explain the satellite failures. Okay, people, don't answer any calls from outside our secure comms. Commander, Darius, if I'm right, that base will need to be completely destroyed. Acknowledged, Dr. Murad. Commander, once you've dealt with the base, Maya will be on station to pick you up at the cell Z. I like it here. It's lush. Um, no topographical data. Going in completely blind here. I suspect, actually... You know what? We're going to go in this way. Keep you back here. No, I see it off in the horizon, so. Do we go that way? Maybe along the trench. I really don't know. Oh, we got a rifleman, looks like. Wolverine, Phoenix Hawk, okay. Okay, let's get her in there. Heading out. There's some uh, turrets to deal with. They're both fortified. Heavy defender turret. Ouch. Yes, Commander. Well, we might have to deal with that first. Uh, you know what? Let's deal with the Wolverine. And this thing might hurt, though. All right. On my way. Chances to hit here aren't great, but Could do more, d yeah, because he's, he's got bulwarks, so let's go for the Phoenix Hall. Roger that. Systems holding. I think I need to hit that turret. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? Waiting on you, 
Commander. Yeah, let's hit you first. Large laser on you. Arrest on the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah. I read you, Commander. Moving out. That's uh, a tough one. Don't know what that is. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. That turret might hurt. Got a blackjack. Can we jump in, actually? No. Oh, damn. I might do it anyway. Oh, it's LRM 20. Uh, we can get a direct hit there. Alright, so let's do it. <clears throat> Two AC 20s. I'm not sure if it'll be able to hit the Crusader. AC 2s definitely will. Oh, we'll find out. Two AC 20s, that could really hurt. armor left in that location. So that was the two AC-20s. Minimal damage on that hit. Need to get him back. I'm taking heavy <clears> hit, <throat> Commander. Waiting for orders. Um, precision strike is honestly probably worth it. If just to slow him down, fine. Okay. What can I do for you? Still only getting LRMs on that. Uh, say multi-target time. No need to tell me twice. Okay, he's out. Good. Ouch. Thank you. 
Oh no! Picking up some mech signatures. Looks like pirate livery. Commander, with the comms switched off, I have no idea if the pirate forces are part of an attack or additional victims of the signal. Listen, Exo, with all due respect, they're shooting at our damn mechs. Who cares why? Waste them! As odd as it sounds, I agree with Mr. Vatanen. Anything that was exposed to that signal needs to be completely destroyed. Well, that just complicates things. Alright. <clears throat> I think this thing needs to go. So, everything. That was lucky. Waste of a gas rifle shot. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay, glitch. Get back here. Ah. <sighs> He may try and get a back shot in on the Highlander. Honestly, though, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for the blackjack because we might get lucky and get a critical hit on it. Roger that. How did you screw that up so bad? I, the RNG gods are hating us right now. Reporting. Major armor loss. <laughs> Turret's still running, uh, rolling down the hill, which is kind of funny. Oh no. Is he gonna fail a panic check? I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, they're all gonna target him. Yep. Which makes sense. They've blown past my armor. Oh come on. Let's try and get that Crusader back. Get him right back. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Yes, Commander. Just get him right back. Acknowledged. Roger that. Okay, reserved. I'm gonna go for these two. Come on, alright, fifty three percent. So that helps a little. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ow. Damage minor. Damage minimal. Let's go for... No, let's not. Actually, okay, that might work. Coordinates received. Waiting for orders.
Hmm. Multi target? On my way. It's pretty weak there. Yeah. Okay, so Yeah, short range here, long range here. Yes. Affirmative. Ooh, damn. Okay. That was really bad. Okay, come on. So Decker back even further. Like He's roars. really taking a beating here. You know what? I'm gonna sprint him out of harm's way if I can. On it. Oof. Jeez, we're getting beat up pretty bad. Take many more hits like that. God damn it. Losing armor. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. Um Commander? Yeah, she needs to cool down. I think I want to just get rid of that trebuchet. Come on. Commander? What do I want to... Okay. Got it. This is what we do. I know it's gonna hurt, but um, let's turn that off. Turn that off. Go B. Yep. Right, Commander. It's knocked down. Good. Okay. 
We must have some master tacticians. I would have to assume. Not sure. Armor's holding. Orders. Okay, you're gonna have to start shooting from long range. Yeah. They must all be master tacticians because they're all acting on phase four. Which is very unusual. Um, damn. I would like to get rid of this guy, but... <clears throat> Honestly... Uh, okay, this might work. Coordinates received. He's very weak. Uh, yeah, so we do have to be careful. Excuse me, sorry about that, folks. And we need to turn off one of these. Just unleash on him, dude. Taking the shot. Hostile eliminated. What is that? I'm getting all shot up, Commander. Two PPCs and an LRM. What the Taking hell? <laughs> oh my... Are you kidding me? Okay. Affirmative. Holy crap. He's nearly dead. Okay. There's our crit. Mech destroyed. Okay, they can still see us. You can see daylight. It's not good. Armor. Not good. Not good. Okay. Good to go. Can I get a back shot on him? Yes. I am going to have to turn off this and this. Well, maybe not that. Alright, let's try it. That was touch and go. Okay, we can get another back shot. Yes. <clears throat> We're gonna take that. Turn these off. Straight in the back. Come on. Come on, dude. Roger, Commander. I got the shot. Really? Not one? Not one hit the center torso. Not a single one. To go. It's up to Decker again. Heading out. God damn. I don't know if we can do it. We have just had the worst luck. Absolute worst luck. Inflicted some heavy damage. God damn. Internal structure damage. And they all get to go before us. Oh no, no, okay. Commander? Uh come on, dude. 
targeting enemy backside. I I'm face palming so hard. I'm so face, I'm face palming so goddamn hard right now. Um, we might have to pull out. I hate to say it, but we have had the absolute worst luck in this. Uh, like it's ridiculous. I mean. I don't think I really do. Got it. Critical hit. Kill confirmed. All right, so we got the first lance dealt with. <sighs> Hopefully, the Highlander can deal with things pretty much on his own. I mean, not likely, but we'll try it. How many tons is that? 45. Turn these back on. On my way. Why is oh? Because we had a crit, of course. Firing on target. What is that? How many tons? Okay. Oh god. And we can't. Yeah. We're pulling out, guys. Yeah. We need to pull out and alert our employees about the situation. Containing the signal is the best prob is is their problem now. Wait, we're running away? Yes we are. You gotta know when to do it. You gotta know when to do it. Because uh just so many things went, went against us. Yes, it was kind of my fault that uh, we ran in a bit too soon. And those reinforcements really made things a lot harder for us. Uh, good faith effort. We still got 146 grand, but yeah, we had to cut and run. It was just... I couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't see us pulling that off. No injuries with a lot of... Uh, a lot of repairs that we need to do. I did get uh, a slight bigger salvage at least. Uh, no, I, I, I don't do melee mods. I don't do uh, arm mods. It's just not my play style. So, yeah, we did get a full Phoenix Halt though, so I'm sure. Oh. Well. There was a complete Phoenix Halt there, but yeah. That really sucks. So yeah, everything just went wrong on that mission, and uh, <clears throat> didn't help we didn't have any topographical information. And again, on top of that, it was completely my fault that we, we just got way too close to the mission, uh, to the base, before we were ready to... 
deal with that second land, so we got absolutely smashed. Um, we did get a little bit of XP though. This is 2000. Waiting for yeah, orders. Decky gets a little bit. Yeah, we'll get some piloting, sure. Training confirmed, Commander. Um, so, yeah, that's our second failed mission. Totally blows, but yeah, we've got to do some, we've got some repairs to do. Uh, why can't we repair you? What? Oh, refit. We lost the heat sink. I didn't even see that. Did not even see that. Okay, so equipment, heat sink. Oh, we got a cockpit mod, which. Oh, you know, this sort of come in handy. How much is that? 1.5 tons. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to swap this out, put that in, confirm, confirm. So which means we need to cancel that, uh, refit, so repair, equipment, cockpit mod, okay. 1.5 tons you say, hmm. Is it worth putting an AMS in? Um, so it's a missile defense aura. Plus two missile defense. Uh, I'd have to swap over to an RM15, which would bring our total damage down a bit. But then we could. Oh no, we don't have exactly what I want. Damn. So we had the same. Yeah, we've got the same variant of this in a uh, LRM10, but nothing in an LRM15. So that's uh, it's very unfortunate. Oh god, we've got 142 medium lasers we need to sell, which I will do at some point. Um, so how can I rework this? Hmm. does a lot of damage, but we want to keep our long range damage, don't we? Hang on, let's see what difference this makes. So we'll lose quite a bit, this is 253, but if we were to put that on, it's 293, that's a big difference, although it isn't as concentrated. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hang on. 89.46. What if I... I'm going to save the weight. So with the AMS, ooh, okay, no, nah, we're a little bit over. Um, hmm. so it really doesn't help. Um, let's see. Honestly, all right, here's what we do. Take this off. As much as I don't want to lose the LRM20, we're going to put on LRM15. 
So heat efficiency does go up a bit. We're going to put the AMS on. And then we're going to put replace uh we're going to put a medium laser on back in. So that's 258. Is that worth the sacrifice? It might be. What about... Hmm. Wait a minute. So that is 50 damage. It's 60. And then again... could drop a ton of ammo. If I use this, I drop a ton of ammo. Um, no, let's refresh. Let's go repair. We'd have to put the AMS in something else, I think. Honestly. Um, let's just confirm that. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. I just don't think it's gonna work on on that Mac. So yeah. Oh well, actually Okay, the Crusader's heat efficiency is a, is a really bizarre one. So, this is where this might be an interesting way of doing things. So, if we take off the SRM-4, put on an SRM-6, I think it's 64 or 65. Still not enough. And it reduces their firepower. Uh, damn. I did kind of like the SRM-4s. See, I don't understand why heat efficiency is rated so high, but when we try to play it. Oh god, what the hell? Go back, go back, go back, go back. Confirm. What happened there? <laughs> Let's try another refit. Okay, so repair, 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 repair. Equipment. Um. Why is it so bad? Do we make it a complete missile boat? So, but even if... Oh, wait a minute. Hang about. So, if we took that off... And that off. Okay, heat efficiency has just gone up immensely. So take those two off. Um, equipment. AMS. There. 62.5. Weapons. We've got no. Um, hang on. Ammo. SRM ammo. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna quite work. Hmm. Wait a minute. All right, hang about. Let's put these on. Yeah. Um. Two SRM sixes. Yeah. So one eighty six. We still got the AMS. <clears throat> then we put that these two back on. Sixty-three point five and a heat sink. That might work out better. I mean, look at this. Our firepower's going up. Heat efficiency, honestly, is manageable. And we got the AMS. I think that's much better. I mean... Yeah. Got a heat of eight, and what's the heat on these? Twenty. This is kind of a no-brainer. Rather than using one LRM twenty, we've got reduced heat on these two. One heat sink, one AMS. So look, if we took these off, if we didn't use our medium lasers. Um, it's actually pretty darn good. And actually take those up to max and give ourselves some back armor as well. Thirty five, forty five, thirty. There we go. I'll take it. Now, is there anything we can do to change you up? I don't think so. RM ammo, yeah, not really. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, we ended up keeping that, didn't we? Okay. So, keep that as is. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bit of a death machine, so we will keep that. No changes made, and that'll be fine. That is, okay, so that took a bit. Um, yeah, that was a pretty bad fail on our part, but now with the AMS, I'm hoping. It's going to be work out a lot better. Work, if I may say so. so, let's go to engineering, ship upgrades. Let's get these knocked out. As many as we can. Uh, oh, let's just get all this stuff done. Improved automation. Yep. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. And, now that we've got that, Alright. We can now go into storage. So what have we got here? Um let's see, Orion K Yeah, Jagermack, Thunderbolt. G 
Champion Dragon, Quick Draw Rifleman, no. Longbow, Battle Monster, Victor, Zeus. There was one where we could, uh... Make some variants. Hang on a sec. I gotta remember how to do this. Ah, oh, look, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's follow the timeline. Job's done, Commander. Alright, we got that work done. So that was a disappointment. A huge disappointment, but a uh, learning curve nonetheless. So, um... Yeah. I hope that was a lesson to everyone on how not to do those missions. <laughs> so with any luck, uh, we'll try one of the other ones. So the next uh, contract will be... Uh, let's see. Favourite or Regret. And we've got Raiding Party. So two two battles. Uh, I guess we'll try... That's kind of a case of any mini money mo. I guess we'll go for the one that pays the most... Although, that's in, hang on. That's got better salvage. We'll go for the better salvage next time. But, uh, regardless of our failure there, I hope you enjoyed the episode uh, regardless. And we hope to see you next time. Um, but uh, as a reminder, it really helps my channel out a lot. Uh, if you're liking what you're seeing, uh, do consider subscribing. And uh, maybe, if you're feeling generous, drop a like. Uh, if you're not, and... You know, for some reason, you're not particularly liking the content, or you, you know, think I could do better. Um, be, feel free to drop a dislike and uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, I mean, even if you do like the content, uh, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'm always open to a conversation. But uh, for now, this is Huey signing off, and as I always say, until next time, take it easy, and bye for now.